Okay guys, so we have issues on the farm. Now, I'll explain the issues and then after that, I'm gonna explain the giveaway instructions for FS19. This week, we have a special, we'll have two giveaways going, I'll explain that later. But, right now, we have our F350, oh, if I can get in here, our F350, okay, first of all, we got a ton of snow, dude, and for some reason, my loader tractors aren't working. I, it's not because they won't start or anything, but once I get snow in the bucket, it lags out the game. So I can't really push any snow. I was, I was thinking that'd be kind of fun to push snow, but dude, we have a ton of snow right now. It just keeps snowing. There's obviously, obviously snow in the shed. The F-350, the power stroke, she's gelled up. She's not going to work for a while. I need to let the heater go in here and uh, let her let her unthaw out and stuff. But right now, I have an appointment, kind of an appointment. I need to get the skid loader and the ranger over to the Case IH dealership, and they're going to work on it. Ranger, ranger danger, all it needs, just service. That's it service uh, that's it over there and i'm not gonna do it myself so i'm gonna have them doing it and then the bobcat is leaking oil it's leaking a decent amount of oil i can still run it to load it up but that's it, it it's it's leaking kind of a lot of oil yet so we're gonna load both of these up and get going but i don't have anything to haul with but more farmer it's sunday and more farmer's not working and his minivan is still here and it's got a hitch on the back i kind of did pave the buy the minivan for him so I'm thinking we load it up on the landscape trailer and see what the Chrysler can actually do. I think more farmer would be proud, man, seeing his minivan putting in some work. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Now it's an all-wheel drive minivan, so it should it should do good in the snow. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load Ranger Danger and the skid loader up with this minivan. And honestly, in real life, I think it could be done. Like if you situate your weight perfectly on the trailer to where there's barely any weight on the minivan. It could maybe pull it down the road, you know, going t slow, slow. It'd be insanely tough. It's not made, the minivan's not made for it, but I think it could be done. So we're going to try it and farm sim. Now, okay, FS19 giveaway. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go pick up that trailer quick. Yeah. Now, the case of the ship's kind of a ways away, too. I'm going to go pick up that trailer. I bought kind of a new trailer just for it. But uh, as far as FS19 giveaway we have going, what I need you guys to do here, I'm going to adjust my sound. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, so my copy, FS or er, FS19. So all you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed to my channel, and comment on this video. The main thing is comment on this video because that's how you actually enter the giveaway. I choose from the comment section of this specific video right here. And just be subscribed because I can check subscriptions usually on most channels. If I pick a winner and I go to their page and you can usually can see subscriptions. If they're not, if I look through them and you're not subscribed to me, I'll choose a new one. Now the last winner was, last, last week's winner was Roland Kokars. So Roland, if you're there, contact me, email me. I said it in my live stream. If you want to go to the live stream and find my email. But other than that, um, yeah, I guess he hasn't contacted me yet. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll give away his copy too. So for this week, all you gotta do is comment on this video, be subscribed, and like this video. That's all you have to do. And then we have another one going this week. Now here's the other one. It's an FS19 giveaway. He's gonna give you whatever copy you want, and I'll kind of manage it and stuff. He's just gonna give me the money for the copy. But we have Abnormal Garage. Bo, I've kind of mentioned him in some channels, has a YouTube channel. I know him in real life, he's starting up, and he was like, hey, I wanna do a giveaway. Um, so he's gonna do an FS19 giveaway. Now all you gotta do is go to his channel, be subscribed and comment on his newest vid. I will link you guys up in the description of this video, his newest video, because that's how you'll enter his giveaway. Just comment on his video and he's gonna choose from there and then be subscribed to his channel. That's all you gotta do. I'll link them both up and I'll give you kind of instructions. The first two lines down in the description. Okay, we're not going to KSH dealership yet. We gotta get this loaded up. So that's what you guys gotta do for this giveaway. And he'll, he'll do a, any, if you win, you'll get to choose whatever copy you want, PS4, Xbox, or PC, and he'll buy it for you. Okay, hold on, dude. Okay, so the minivan got connected. I guess I was just kind of talking too much there, but that's a giveaway. I'll kind of be announcing it all week. Okay, so the minivan and landscape trailer works, dude. Oh, more farmer, dude. He's going to be... Okay, I want to put... I don't want to put much weight on the minivan. It doesn't have too good a payload capacity, so I want to put Ranger Danger... I got to spread this weight out good on this trailer. At least it has three axles, so we should be somewhat good. Okay, where am I going to... Do I back this up? Yeah, I got to situate this a little bit. Doesn't have tail mirrors, man. It's going to be a little tough. <laughs> Getting things situated. <laughs> Can I see it back there? Oh, I can't even see how the mirrors... The interior is not fully done on this minivan yet. Okay, hold on. We're going to pull around here. I'm thinking... Okay, I want to kind of back up towards the shed here. 
and then we gotta actually do something because I can't just keep messing around on this on this farm. We actually gotta keep putting it work, but it's it's kind of fun sometimes to mess around a little bit, you know, you know. Oh gosh, okay, there we go. Ah, oh, that's gonna put a ton of weight. I gotta scooch forward so we're on level ground. There we go. Okay, we're on level ground now. Dude, okay, so usually when you load something up, at least it has these ramps, but if you didn't have these things that go into the ground, it would, like, it, most of the times, like, when we load our skid loader up, it'll lift up the back end of the truck. Like, the back wheels will be off the ground a little bit. We, we definitely have way too light a truck for what we're hauling in real life, but th luckily this has ramps, so it won't lift up the minivan too much. But you'll see it rise. You'll still see it rise a little bit. Okay, we'll open the, oh, uh, shoot, we gotta go around here. That's right, there's no, like, garage door opener from the front. There we go. Okay. Uh, Ranger Danger is going up there first. This just needs service. We've been... Uh, Farmer Nick's been using her hard, so we're going to load her up quick. <laughs> oh, dude. The Ranger is just a lot for the minivan. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Not bad. Okay. I don't want much weight at all on the minivan, so right there. I think we have enough room to fit the skid loader on. We should. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now here we go, the Bobcat 863 with tracks. Dude, I wish I could plow, because it'd be fun. It'd be fun to plow up some of the snow, but we can't right now. Oh gosh. Did she even start? Okay, she'll start. There we go, it's kind of cool how it's snowing though right now. Okay, then we'll throw her up here. Load her up, oh man. <laughs> okay, right there. Oh my gosh, dude, is this? I think his minivan, I think we need to scooch the equipment up a little more. I'm going to just kind of, okay. There's a lot of weight. On, there's too much weight on the back of the trailer. I think the wheels like are in the air. Yeah, I got to scooch the Ranger up a little more. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Man, the Ranger really gets going. Okay. Okay, we're going to put a lot of weight on, okay, that's kind of a lot of weight on that trailer. We'll scooch the Bobcat up a little more. Let's see, let's watch the, uh, see if it squats a little bit. Start her up. Oh, yep, she started to squat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right there. That's good. That's good. There's still a pretty... You can see the axles, like, moving and stuff. Okay, we have way too much weight on the front. <laughs> Dude, this is funny, though. Okay, we'll see if the minivan pulls her. It's got all-wheel drive. I was kind of driving it through the snow a little bit before the video, and it was uh, it was getting pretty close to being stuck. Now, in this amount of snow, it'd probably get stuck in real life, but it was uh, pretty realistic. Okay, load is locked. Load is ready to rock and roll. Okay, we gotta hear this minivan. Dude, we gotta hear the, this minivan engine roar, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just gotta throw our... Did, do not all the blinkers work here? I got my hazards on. Oh, that left one doesn't work. That's weird. Okay, she's pulling it. I need... You know what? I need my controller. I need my controller for this because I don't want to go crazy fast. And I want to be... I want to be really realistic with this. Dude, it's either like you're full throttle or you're not full throttle here. Oh my gosh, the minivan just takes off, dude. Okay, we're pulling her. Dude, I don't want to get this thing stuck. We got a sweet wide though. Come on, pull through here. Oh my gosh. We're hauling a skid loader with more as a minivan. Can I even steer in the front? There's just... Oh, dude. Look at her go. I'm not even... Okay, here's full throttle. She rips. Oh my gosh, dude. You can hear just revving up, too. I wonder if uh, these minivans have a tow mode. They might, honestly, they may have like a, I'm sure they have, a, we can run the RPMs higher somehow, but I don't know if they have a tow mode. Probably, if they have a hitch, they may have a little bit of tow mode in them or something. I don't know, I'd be curious. Does anybody know? Anybody have one of these minivans? We're pulling. Oh gosh, don't go off the road. Okay, we're kind of in the snow. We're pulling 25 mile an hour right now. We're pulling the skid loader and the Ranger. Dude, this thing, could, this thing might pull better than a uh, Chevy. No, I'm, I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm just joking. <laughs> I know everybody's going to get mad. Oh, dude. There we go. No, guys, seriously, I'm, I'm just joking. I know people are going to get like, oh, so mad. Okay, anyways. Dude, okay, we better slow it down. We're doing 60 mile an hour right now. <laughs> This is cool, though. Look at the sky, though. That's one thing about this map. Look how dark that looks. That's sweet. It almost looks like a tornado is coming over there. I like the sky textures. And over there, it's pretty light. Over there, it's kind of dark again. So that's Moore's house right there. It looks like he cleared his snow off. You can see he's, he cleared that somehow. 
I don't know how he did it, because right now when I clear snow, it just lags out my game. Dude, hopefully these parking lots are plowed. Otherwise, it might be a little tough getting in here. But it's, dude, the, the Chrysler's hauling it. And I, I'm not going to say you can't do this in real life. It would be doable. It would honestly be doable. It'd just be really tough on your van. If you put the weight, like, the way I have the load situated now, I don't think it'd, you could do it in real life. That would be so much weight on the back of it. But if you scooched everything really far back, you had a perfectly, like, even load, it might be able to just do it slowly going, like, cruising at, like, 10 mile an hour. <laughs> this would be cool to see in real life. I'm sure I can look up some YouTube videos of, uh, of some minivans, like, pulling and stuff, or hauling. I've seen people haul boats and stuff, but boats are pretty light. Okay, oh, no. Oh wait, okay, it's it's par partially plowed. Partially. Okay, we're pulling in here, boys. Oh, is the load blocked? Stuff's moving. I thought I had it locked. Okay. <laughs> Where do we unload it? Okay, we'll unload, uh, we'll just pull through right here. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, there we go. Now we gotta get everything out of here. Uh, so unlock load. I thought I had the load locked, though. There we go. The minivan pulled it, dude. It did good. The Chrysler did good. Okay, we'll get the 863 off here. And then we will... I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll just back it in for now over here. It's kind of fun sometimes to mess around and farm sim a little bit, you know. I probably mess around too much, though. So right now, we'll put this guy over there. Now, these guys don't... This is like the only kind of... Uh, equipment shop in town, I guess, around my area. So I just take everything to them. They're not like specialized in uh, rangers or skid loaders or anything like that, but they'll do it. They said, "Dude, how does Ranger Danger do in the uh, in the snow? Doesn't do too bad. <laughs> it's deep snow though. Oh, you know, it'd be sweet. Oh, well, there's a Maverick with tracks in Farm Sim, but it'd be cool if we had tracks. It does good in the snow." Honestly, so it gets better through than some of the snowmobiles. I, I did a snowmobile live stream just the other day. And this does better. Just yesterday. Oh, <laughs> dude, it is deep through here. It, like, plows. Oh, dude, it would be sweet to get a plow on this, though. It would. It would be cool to get a plow on this. The Ranger. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's kind of bouncing. She takes off, though. There we go. Okay, we'll put Ranger Danger away. Oh, gosh. It's getting pretty deep through here. Okay. Ranger Danger is getting parked. I'm having too much fun. We'll uh, just park her right here. There we go. Now it's time to take our trailer back. You know what, dude? I don't. I was considering buying another truck. I don't think I need another truck. Chrysler's going to do good enough. I think Chrysler... I kind of like this thing. Kind of a beast, dude. To be honest. Okay. We'll fold her up. Get going. We'll head back here. Oh, gosh. There we go. Or I could, I was going to say, I need a way to get back, I guess. I was going to say I could, like, leave it here. Just wait for this stuff to get done. But then I got to find some way to get back. Okay, we'll really fly with this. <laughs> she does 85 mile an hour, dude. Okay, slow her down. I don't want my trailer to get whipped around here. Because it will. These trailers, like, slide. Oh, gosh. That's what I was afraid of. Pull through here. Chrysler, get through the snow and climb through the ditch. Yes, pull. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, I better keep her somewhat slow. Keep the cruise control at like 50. This thing's got power, though. This thing's got power. It doesn't have torque. It just has kind of a lot of power. I'm stuck in the ditch. I keep, I keep trying to get out of this ditch here. I'm stuck in here. We're going, though, dude. Come on, come on. Get up there, get up there. Okay, we're through, we're through. I was kind of messing around, dude. It's cool driving this in the snow. It's just a beast. I wanna, okay, maybe the F-350, we'll see. Maybe the F-350 uh, will start up now. Oh, gosh. Slow her down. Dude, I bet the Chrysler could cl climb that hill there. Like, seriously, this thing's an anima. She just goes. Okay, I think we do have to feed. Let me check. I do think we have to start feeding in a little bit. We should probably stop messing around so much. We do have to... Okay, water. They need water. They need grass. They're honestly pretty good on everything else. I think what I'm going to do is park the minivan. We could start... Oh, one thing we could start doing is spread manure. It's pretty deep outside, but it would be pretty cool to start spreading some manure. 
Man, that would be sweet. Um, there's a lot of snow, though. Could start spreading some manure. What would I load it up with? Okay, I have the 7400 loaded up. What would I haul it with? We could use the 89 to haul manure. Huh. Maybe we will... We could save that for tomorrow, or we could start it. I, I'm thinking let's start it. Let's start hauling manure here. Okay, I'm going to back up here, and I'm going to put the Chrysler... I'm going to keep the Chrysler connected to the trailer. Because this baby's just used for towing now. <laughs> she does so good. Okay. Uh, well, no, for, I'm just messing, kind of. But for now, we're just we'll just put her right here. We could. Honestly, the 89, the four-wheel drive would work pretty good. We'll see, though. I, th I think I'm going to I'm gonna fast forward it to uh, to the next day and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're in early spring right now. The trees have started to pop up. There's still snow on the ground, though. See, I want to show you guys one thing here. Let me disconnect these. Why do we have these wagons here? Huh. Wonder, I guess we just were moving them. Somebody was moving them. I wonder if this still works, but snow will lag out your game. Insane. It's it's super weird. Probably shouldn't even try it, but here we go. I'm just gonna get a, pick up a tad. Just just tad. Yep, yep. It lags out your game and it's so bad. Let me dump this. There we go, and now it's good. I don't know what's up with that, but I have no idea. Okay, so, you know what? I kind of need the skid loader to be able to get the manure out of the pit because I'll show you where the manure is. And the bad thing about it is if I pick up the manure, I might pick up a little snow with it and it might lag out the game. We'll see, though. How are the cows doing? I haven't even checked on them. How are we doing so far? We do need some water. Water is the main thing we need right now. Everything else seems pretty good. We have our mixer over here. They just left it here. Okay, so... This is the manure. Now, the only thing that can get in and out of here, I don't know if the 74, ah, the skid loader would have been nice. But here's the manure we have right now. We could get the 706 in here. 706 would probably be able to make it in here. And then I, the thing is, I got to buy a manure spreader. I don't know if we have a manure spreader. Actually, you know what? We have the, we have, yeah, we have a new haul in manure spreader. That's right. We, we have a new haul in manure spreader. I need a good tractor to spread manure with. What do I use? I think the new haul in manure spreader is in here. We'll open her up. I think it's tucked away back here. Yep. Okay. Or er, new. Yeah, New Holland. The 185. I could use. Should we use the 89 on it? I think it'd be kind of good th going throughout the fields and stuff. It'd pull a little better. The, that or the 7400. 89 could be a little overkill on it, to be honest. We'll open this up. We'll see what I want to get out, and we'll see how far equipment's like tucked back here. 89 would be a B spread or the versatile. The 89, I think everybody would like to see the 89. It just may be a little overkill with it. I don't want to use any of these two-wheel drive tractors. Could use a 7400. 7400 wouldn't be a bad tractor. 89 might be just a tiny, teeny bit big a tractor for this. Tell you what we'll do. We'll probably run the 7400 on it. I'm going to take off the loader, I think. Yeah, I'm going to drop the loader on this. Just for a second, just because it's so easy to detach. Uh, where do I want to put it? I want to put it... For now, we'll kind of just put it up here. And then we have the duals on it already, so we should be able to make it through the snow good. Got front wheel assist. It's probably the perfect size for this manure spreader. The 89 is just too big, I'm thinking. Can we back out of here? There we go. Okay, loader's detached. Take the 7400, and we got to hook up to all these manure spreaders through here. Wherever, or I mean, the manure spreader through here. All these manure spreaders. No, a manure spreader. Oh, man, we got to move all this. What's the best? Okay, I guess we'll just keep backing in the 7400. Hook her up, move her, hook her up, move her. Okay, we just got to move the baler and then the manure spreader. Or er, the baler and then the uh, mower, the New Holland mower back there. Baler's hooked up. Don't really care about hooking up the PTO right now. Okay, for now, I'll just pull the baler around here. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, back the baler up, just like, oh, keep going. We'll back the baler up right about, uh, right about there. There we go. Unhook her. And then get the 70, okay, well, first of all, I guess we gotta get the, okay. It's fine right here for now, I guess. We'll keep the 7400 running. Jump in the new Holland. Move the new Holland out of the way a little bit. I think I can kind of just maneuver it into the corner over here. Should probably let her warm up a little bit. 
There we go. That works good. As long as I can get everything out. I think we'll be able to fit the... We should be able to fit through here. There we go. Shut the new hole and off. Now back to 74 in here. See what happens. Now the 74, I think it's under 100 horsepower. I honestly don't think this tractor has much. It's under 7,400. If it was like a 7,800 or something, it would have a lot more. But I think the 7,400 only... I'm pretty sure it's like in the 90s. Or maybe it's maybe it's in the hundreds for horsepower. Okay, we'll keep backing up here. Slowly back up. There we go. Okay. Jump out, draw bar, and PTL. They're hooked up. Perfect. Now we should be able to get through the snow. Now the tractor I'm going to use to load this up is... Since we don't have the, the Bobcat, i got to use the 706. The uh, farm all over here. To be our loader tractor. I mean, I guess I could have used the 7400. 7400 probably could have fit through there. Okay, we'll take her back here. Open the gates. Okay, we're just going to have to keep the gates open for now. Now, where are my cows in the pasture? I haven't even seen them. They're... Okay, there they are. They're, they're good. They're all back there. Perfect. How do I load this up, though? We'll see. And hopefully it spreads over the snow. Like, technically, in real life, it could spread over the snow because the snow would eventually melt in and stuff. It'd be fine. But I don't know in farm sim how it's going to work out. Thinking. Pull in, like, kind of right here. This should be good right there, I'm thinking, to load up. Because I'll take the tractor through there, back the tractor up, dump, keep going. So, now we just got to get the loader tractor out of here. I don't want to scoop up snow because it's going to lag out my game horribly. So, I got to I gotta be careful of that. There we go. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. Get the 706. Fire her up. Okay, we'll kind of pull her around. See what happens a little bit here. Dude, this guy's I like whoever made this mod. This is a good mod, whoever made it. Like his arms are situated good. Usually it's tough to get people people the player's arms situated perfectly and stuff like that. Okay, we'll pull her through here. Okay, I gotta open up that gate and we gotta start loading up. Dude, this thing like floats over the snow. It doesn't even make a trail or anything. Now it's two wheel drive, so it might be a little tough getting through here. Okay. We will open her up. Would the 7400 fit? Yeah, I, I'm thinking the 7400 would fit through. Ooh, it'd be tough. I don't know. Okay, and start scooping some manure out of here. We're kind of doing old school. It'd be nice to have the Bobcat Skiddler through here. Now this works fine. I'm not sure how many loads it's going to take either. We're kind of dying down in the snow when I start turning. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. So I'm thinking it'll take like four or five scoops. Usually it take a ton more than that, but in like in real life, I guess. But for now, probably take four or five is what I'm guessing. We'll make our way through here. Keep scooping up some more. So from now on, snow's just going to be melting and melting and melting. We kind of went through winter real quick. It's kind of, I mean, there's really nothing to do in winter. Not too much, I guess. We do have livestock, so there's a decent amount. There we go. Pull through here. Load her up. Oh, we're tipping. Start dumping. <laughs> there we go. Pull ourselves around here. Keep pulling in here. Okay, we gotta repeat this process probably like three or four more times. I'm guessing. We don't even have that much manure. And then one thing we need is we need some uh, type of liquid manure spreader too. You can hear the cows munching along there. Shoot, we're not going to make that. we got to back up here. There we go, rotate it around. Oh gosh, oh man, I'm kind of all over the place. I was going pretty smooth there, but now I'm kind of all over. So I'm thinking it'll take... Oh, we keep tipping. Three or four loads, I'm guessing. Let's check. It's at 53%. So that was our third load, so I'm guessing... Uh, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters more loads. And we'll probably almost get this all cleaned out by now. By the time we get there. There we go. I wish I had a tad bigger bucket though. That'd be kind of nice. 
So right now this holds 0.84 tons. Oh, shoot. Keep getting caught through this gate. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Okay, for those of you guys who live on a farm, does winter tend to get a little... Does winter tend to get a little boring for you guys at all? I mean, maybe it's fun and stuff, but there's probably got to be some days. I mean, maybe summers are boring too, I guess. At least you can kind of be outside a ton. You can be outside in the winter too. It's just a little tough. It gets dark pretty quick and stuff. For those of you guys who live in farms, same with city though. I shouldn't be... They're kind of the same thing. To be honest, I'd. it seems like it might get a little boring. But, hey, if you're watching the squad, you're covered, man. Right? 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 Nah, I'm just messing. Uh, but anyways, oh gosh, I keep getting caught on that door. I always wondered what, like, I always kind of talked to my parents and, like, always compared, like, the farm life to the city life. Both of my parents grew up on a farm. I wish I grew up on a farm. I always get, kept saying, like, I wish I grew up on a farm. And they're like, no, it gets so boring and stuff. Um, I mean, besides when, like, harvest and stuff's going on around the farm but other times when stuff's not going around the farm they're always like you wouldn't want to be there it gets it's just so boring but i, I feel like i would but I, I haven't understood it too much i guess i haven't i haven't experienced it so who knows okay so what we're at 88 percent. so one more load one more load and we'll be good oh gosh okay don't screw up through this doorway there we go we'll pull in here Perfect. And that's one reason why a lot of farmers, I mean, a lot of, you know, younger farmers who can kind of handle it and stuff have snowmobiles just because, hey, you got any, basically anywhere to ride and stuff, you know, ditches forever, ditches for miles and stuff. And you're not doing much during the winter, too. And during the good years, it was pretty simple to buy one, you know. There we go. We are full. So right now, I'll put the international... Uh, I guess I'll just put it in here for now, and then we'll go spread this stuff. We'll spread this crap, I should say. There we go. Okay, international. International is working good. Okay, not international. Farm mall. Sorry, I, I I apologize. I keep seeing international on the loader. It's a farm mall. It's a farm mall. It's a farm mall. It's a farm mall. There we go. Because a lot of people, a little tight about that stuff. So, we'll get the seventy four hundred and fire up. I probably should have kept her running. Oh, this kind of weighs a lot. We might have to... We should be fine, though. Then, okay. We got a cows. Oh, that's right. I got to start naming some of my cows. We'll go through here. Maybe I should shut the gates behind her. She's pulling a lot tougher through here. I can definitely tell that, though. She sits back. She's pulling a lot tougher. We need a front weight in the front is what we need. Okay, what field am I... Okay, so we have a cover, cover crop on field... Okay, so yeah. On field one, we have a cover crop right now. Do I spread it on field one... When we have a cover crop or do i just go to like field let's see we had corn here we plowed this up i want to do something we no tilled field three would be the field we no tilled could head over to field three that wouldn't be a bad idea or field four did we plant no we planted wheat on these fields pretty sure we planted fertilized growing so field Harvested. So field four would probably be our best bet. But this is a. I'm trying to think. I, I wish I knew this better. But do you put manure on a cover crop? I feel like it might kind of destroy this. It would help the cover crop a lot. I don't think I'm going to put it on this cover crop because we have a wheat cover. Uh, not a cover crop, but we have winter wheat growing right here. And you can actually see the wheat come up. The wheat's green over there. You can actually. Yeah, there it is. The wheat's coming up, actually. So we'll be able to harvest that like early spring here. Got the chickens all around around here. But yeah, I'm thinking we'll go out to this field and start spreading. By the way, are you guys liking this farming series? I wonder what episode I'm on. <laughs> I'm not keeping track here. And a lot of guys were giving me crap and stuff for going to UMRV episode like 97 and stopping. So I got three episodes left on UMRV. I don't know if I'll ever go back to it. It'll just always be a mystery, I guess. Okay. Oh, man, this is getting kind of tough through here. I'm pulling through here. I'm full throttle. Okay, we'll start right here. I wonder if this is going to let me spread it. So it was frozen. Oh, I hate when it does that, dude. I hate when it does that. Okay, did we fertilize at all? We did. Uh, we'll, we'll check. I th I'm pretty sure we did fertilize there. Okay, we did fertilize there, so we're good. But I hate when that does that. 
So we can work it still. As long as we can pull through here. It doesn't let me drive fast though. Maybe I need some more power. Is that what that is, you think? I'm trying to go through here. Okay. I doubt it's because I need more power. Maybe it's because the farming simulator is limiting me. I don't know, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the 89. <laughs> we'll see if it needs more power. Now, the new idea of manure spreader. How much power does it say it requires? I, I know this the 7400 would be able to handle in real life. I don't know about farm sim, though. Okay. Manure spreaders. Uh, Right here. Wait. 100 horse. Ooh, 74 might not have enough horse. Let me check. 7,400. And this might not be what it is in real life, too. Uh, 74, 74. It has 100 horse. It has exactly 100 horse. Okay, I don't know what to... Uh, I, I, My only guess is to go get a bigger tractor. So we're going to pull out the 89, put it on the manure spreader. Probably too big a tractor. I, don't, I would get the 83, or the versatile wouldn't be bad, but I want to fire up the 89. Uh, Four-wheel drive tractor on this be cool so we'll head up here get her on here there we go pull the tractor in here um you know what i'm probably gonna just pull the 89 straight out this door because we got kind of if i can fit through here i'll fire her up <laughs> this is too big a tractor dude this is gonna work okay f350 please start up it should be war it should be gelled out by now should be thought out we should be good start it up Perfect. Now in real life, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be just <laughs> moving her around. You'd probably let her warm up a little bit, but for now, there we go. F-350 finally started up. Pull out of here. Okay, 89 is going to go. Dude, this is a big tractor. This, this is too big for the manure spreader. Oh, gosh. We keep sliding around everywhere. It gets through the snow well, though. Look at this go. Wow, I love snow. Imagine putting tracks on like an 89, basically turning into a 9RX or something like that. An old school tractor like this. Oh, shoot. We don't have a PTO. <laughs> we don't have a PTO on the 89, but I'm going to see if it works still. I totally forgot we don't have a PTO on the 89, and it probably wouldn't be a 540. Okay, it's hooked up. We'll see if it works, though. Oh, no tractors will work, and right now we're just stuck, too. Can't even get grip. Wow. I think I gotta wait till it thaws out or something. I'm pretty sure it's season's kind of conflicting with the manure spreader. I was really hoping that'd work. That'd be kind of cool if we get to work, but right now it won't work. Shoot. Darn it. Okay, anyways, guys, this it will be the end of the video. Hopefully, by next video, we can actually get things thawed out and let, uh, I mean, in real life, you want the ground frozen to be able to spread manure, but it's probably fine. So, anyways, guys, don't forget to enter the FS19 giveaway. I kind of mentioned towards the beginning of the video, there's two copies going out this week. So, not going out this week, but they'll go out. You'll win them this week, and then I'll send them to you once it, once the game comes out. But, anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I, I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.